What's up everybody? Right now, I'm gonna go through the Charstone Cave, and the first thing that happens when you walk in is the, uh, Shio, Shio, the Shadow Triad, um, picks you up and takes you off to N, and I guess the Shadow Triad is, like, N's servant, essentially, and also Gates is, is servant, but... Anyway, after N asks you a completely useless question that you can either answer yes or no to, and it affects absolutely nothing, he leaves, and then once you walk up to this stone, Bianca and Professor Juniper will come up and essentially explain the stones to you. And then Juniper will actually give you a lucky egg. And a lucky egg increases the amount of experience that a Pokemon gets at the end of a battle. So, after she's done talking, you can do whatever you want, and all you have to do is press the little floating stones off to one of the bigger stones that are stationary, and they will, you know, be magnetically drawn to them. So, and essentially, a lucky egg, specifically, it gives the Pokemon holding it as much experience as a Pokemon that has been traded that gets boosted experience. So, that's a pretty awesome item, actually. If you're trying to, you know, gain a level, for example, to like level 50 so you can battle online without it being at a, you know, a level disadvantage. So, it's pretty nice. Now we're going to battle this uh, Ace Trainer. Let's see what Pokemon he has. It looks like he has an Arkin or an Archin. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but a rock flying type that you can actually get if you get the uh, Plume Fossil, I believe, back in Relic Castle and resurrect it in, what is it called, Necreen City. So, there we picked up an Elixir, which is actually very useful in this area, considering it's a very long area, and so long, in fact, that I had to break up this into two parts, so... Because otherwise it would have been well over the 15 minutes that I'm allowed on YouTube, so... And the, the reason why I can only have 15 minutes instead of 20 minutes, like a lot of people, is because I guess at one time I had a... Um, what is it called? Like a, like a, co not really a copyright infringement thing, but essentially I uploaded a trailer in one of the, uh, weekly updates that I had, and the, uh, you know, the people who deal with the anime didn't like that, even though in reality I searched for the, uh, the movie in YouTube, and considering I only had the trailer, it's kind of funny that when I searched for the entire movie, I found the whole movie on YouTube. The whole fucking movie. Granted, the entire movie was in Japanese, and the trailer that I had was in English, but still, it's like, it was free advertising for the English version of the movie, and they were like, nope, fuck you. You're not gonna advertise our fucking movie for free, even though... The entire fucking movie. I'm not even kidding. Like, I bet the entire movie is still on YouTube. It's the, uh, Zoro Arc movie. I forget the exact name of it, but, like, Zoro Arc Mass Revolutions or something like that. And, yeah, I bet you can still... In fact, I'll go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna see if that is still on there. Zoro Arc Mass Revolutions, part one. Do, do, do. Yep, it's right here. Part one, let's see if there's a part two. Do, 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 there is. So yeah, the whole movie is like still on YouTube. So it's very odd that they wanted me to take down the English trailer, but whatever, they own it, I don't, so that's cool. But anyway, that's why, <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty fucking long tangent, but anyway, that's why I can't upload uh, videos longer than 15 minutes. So that's why I had to decrease or kind of split this into two parts so we're actually nearing the end of this uh part of the video but this area we can't go into yet because it kind of loops back from like the end of the cave so and now once we hit this bridge the shadow triad should pop up again and whisk us 
across to the other side. And, I don't know, the Shadow Triad is yet another kind of pointless piece of the game, because, I don't know, it's just, like, you don't ever actually... Oh, excuse me. You don't actually ever battle them, so they're just kind of, like, really creepy dudes that, like, pop up and push you forward a little bit, and then they disappear, and that's it. Until after you defeat the Elite Four, and then you kind of actually get to talk to them, but... I don't know, it's just kind of creepy how they don't really do much of anything, but... And now off to the left is an iron, and as I can see here, I messed it up the first time, so if you ever do something like that where you mess up a puzzle, all you really have to do is exit the room and come back in. And in this one specifically, you have to push the bottom of the two floating stones, and then you can get an iron at the end. And an iron increases your defense EVs, so... Anyway, that's the end of this video, so I'm going to sign off now, and I'll see you in the uh, second part of Charts No Cave.